Hi there, Ian Hamilton again uh, on my weekly walkabout. Uh, today it's a sit about. And to the lady that emailed me and told me I looked like I was going to die uh, walking up the hill, thank you, I'm still, <laughs> I'm still alive. <laughs> and yes, I am very healthy. Thank you. So, bit of news this week. Um, body and soul in the, in the Australian paper. Elle McPherson goes alkaline. Um, the, the beautiful Elle. We all love to love her with those lovely, lovely long legs, especially when she takes all the clothes off like that. Um, an interesting little thing because Elle has become the director of an alkaline greens company and she's selling her alkaline greens all over the world as a, uh, as a result, she says, of having big problems with her diet and turning alkaline. Well, as you probably know, I was alkaline for years and years and years and years, and, and I hate to say it, but uh, I actually blame my vegetarian-based alkalinity for my osteoporosis, which has been an ongoing problem getting better as a result of the things that Cassie found, talked about and convinced me of doing, which I now do. I am an alkaline paleo diet guy. We've got tons of spinach in our garden, we use it and that's our alkaline side. And we also keep away from sugars, breads, grains, okay? So that's my alkaline diet. I call it the alkaline paleo diet. So God bless Al. She's, she's helping lots and lots of people to talk about alkaline, learn about alkaline and buy more kale, which is also interesting to me because I read this week that kale seeds, which all come, all come from Holland, are out of stock. Kale has become so trendy that you can't get any more seeds for it. So next time you enjoy it, you go to buy your kale, don't be surprised if it's more expensive. Now, I'm going to talk about something completely different now. People with electronic water ionizers, when they're brand new particularly, or where you put a brand new filter in, they get glasses of water with lots and lots of bubbles in it. And they are told that only electronic water ionizers will do this, and what those bubbles are is hydrogen, which is actually quite true. What they're not told is that when you use electrolysis, and that's a series of metal plates in a chamber with, electronic, with electric current going through, it's a very violent reaction right at the plates, and it causes these little bubbles of hydrogen. And that, uh, those bubbles of hydrogen stay in the water, but they do not infuse into the water. They don't become a part of the water. So what you get is a glass of water with lots of bubbles. So my advice is if you've got an ionizer and it's doing that, drink it quickly, because all those bubbles have to get into your body to do the good. Okay, now, I had an email from a guy who had an electric ionizer and now has an ultrastream. He says, my electric ionizer gave me bubbles. This one doesn't, therefore, you can't have as much hydrogen. Not so. The method that we use in the ultrastream of using magnesium to hydrogenate rather than electrolysis means a much more complete infusion of hydrogen into the water. So the water that comes out of the ultrastream, actually it's been tested at around about four times the water as, it, as what comes out of a $4,000 water ionizer. Sorry, four times the water, what I'm talking about four times the molecular hydrogen. And it's the molecular hydrogen that has, that gives us all the benefits. So if you run your electronic ionizer at say a litre a minute and your ultrastream at a litre a minute, your ultrastream will have four times the molecular hydrogen. I mean, that's fantastic, okay? So when you see all those bubbles, as I said, drink them quick because they're on the way out. They want to get out, they want to get away. When you see the still ultrasound water, drink that quick anyway because it's got much more hydrogen in it and it's going to do you much more good. Have a good week.